Troy from ZA Comics here, and we're going to go to Game On Expo in Phoenix, Arizona. This is a game-centric, and by that I mean board game, arcade game, console game, pretty much all aspect gaming convention in Phoenix, Arizona. They're going into, I believe, fifth year, five, which is pretty, pretty good for a convention nowadays. So we're going to go and see what all the hype's about. Game On Expo wasn't the only show in town that weekend. We also had the Let's Glow convention. They do a lot of uh, nail accessories, I guess. And let me tell you, they showed up in force and they knew how to party. Once you get into Convention Center, there's no question you're in the right place because they have signage everywhere. You can even get your picture taken in one of these huge backdrops, this one here with Mario. Or do like me and go stand next to Master Chief and get uh, your picture taken. Or with Assassin's Creed. I ain't afraid of you, bro. You also can get in line and get your ticket, which you're going to need to go into the convention center hall. Go through the line, very well organized. And here is what my badge looked like. I've got the media badge. Uh, the other ones look pretty similar, and you get a little lanyard. And you can earn these little uh, sticker ribbons to put on the bottom of the badge for doing various tasks around the convention. Now, they didn't have a printed program guide or schedule, but, you know, here's the QR code. All you have to do is download one. And a reminder that shouldn't have to be said, cosplay is not consent. you got to include the obligatory gangster pose in front of the Game on Expo banner. And then, you know, just hang out with your boy Bruce while you're out there on the convention hall floor. They had a really cool display, the art of Nintendo Power. If you guys were gamers back in the day, you might remember the Nintendo Power magazine. This guy has collected a lot of the original artwork that was used for different covers and interior pages for this. It's just, uh, it's amazing to see all the stuff. And some of this stuff didn't get used. It, it was submitted and they altered it or they didn't use it exactly. But he's got the original artwork from these artists. Uh, you can see framed with the actual covers and interior pages they were used for inside Nintendo Power magazine. This magazine, before the internet, this is where you found all your cheat codes and your walkthroughs and how to beat that game that was just really, really, you know, kicking your butt and you couldn't get through it. Uh, this, this was a must-have subscription for a lot of the uh, old retro gamers before the internet. Very, very cool. You could even put yourself in a real-life video game with Altered Combat Laser Tag. They let us take a little quick uh, shot inside here. You see all the guns. And they had a, a smaller room set up with some obstacles and the lights dimmed down. Looked like a lot of fun. You can go let some steam off and shoot your friends. There were lots of vendors with everything from artwork to t-shirts to, you know, prints. Just about anything you'd see at a normal con. Uh, Gashapon? Oh, yeah. There were tons of Gashapon machines. This is just one of those guys. You have, of course, your obligatory Asian-style foods. And also anime t-shirts this one particularly was pretty cool uh being game on expo you know dealing with games of course they've got some used games console stuff you know nintendo sega what have you these guys were selling everything uh and they would haggle just like the sign says give them a good price one of the big attractions at cons are the featured guests and game on expo had those in spades they had a lot of game related People from developers to voice actors to, uh, you know, what have you. They had a lot of really good game-related featured guests. And all you had to do was get in line, pay your fee, and you could have your picture taken with them or get their autograph. One of my favorite parts of cons is the cosplay. Some of these costumes are so very detailed, and a lot of them are very accurate to the characters they're portraying. But then you have others where they kind of do mashups or, you know, different takes on that character. Either way, they're very inventive. They're very awesome to look at. And cosplay is usually one of the most picture-taken things at the event. Speaking of that, they did have a costume contest. Uh, it was a smaller costume contest. I think there were about 26 entries, and these are the ones that were entered into the contest. I asked around, nobody knew what the prize was, so that means these guys didn't care. They just wanted to be seen. They were doing it for the love of cosplay. They really, really portrayed their characters well. I don't I didn't stick around to see who won, but man, these costumes were just 
amazing. And the the work they put into these things is just, you don't understand how many hours and hours of work they put in just trying to get the pieces right, to make them look right, to make them fit to their body right. Because, you know, not everybody is shaped like an anime or video game character. But these guys did a great job. It's Game On Expo. Where are the games, you ask? Well, right here. They had a big section set up for board games. These are some vendors that were set up around the outskirts. Uh, you know, selling their wares, board games, what have you. A uh, couple of, uh, you know, new publishers are there, uh, self-published games. Uh, a lot of people selling a lot of uh, game wares right here in this section. Hey, peace to you too, dude. Here, you can see all the tables set up. And this guy, the biggest dice tower I've ever seen, foam dice. Thought it was really cool. It was it was homemade by the guy, but uh, it was really really cool. Lots of dueling going on. You know, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, what have you. They were slinging spells. But it wasn't just board gaming. We have all these PCs set up here playing a myriad, a plethora, if you will, of different games. If you see over here in the back corner, they even had some esports stuff going on. They also had a ton of pinball and arcade cabinets, all set to free play. There was a pinball tournament going on, and here is the big bad trophy for first place. The All-Valley Tournament, not to be confused with Cobra Kai. This is just for pinball. You ain't kicking nobody. Let me just run down the line of the pinball machines they had. They had a good probably one-third of the convention space was just pinballs and then you had some arcades thrown in on top of that uh these things on top they call them top you know toppers of course uh just because it sits on top of the pinball and usually those are pretty decorative but here's a lot of the arcades some more pinball like i said all set to free play that's why there you don't see too many empty spots there people were enjoying themselves playing some games as uh you know the name of the place is game on expo this cabinet i love it it's so amazing. That clear see-through with the red and blue lights just really sets it off. Ugh, need one for the home. And, of course, you got your obligatory driving games, shooting games. You name it, they had that video game there, all provided by Level 1. And, like I said, all set for free play. Hey, there's a couple empty machines. You don't see that often. Uh, this was over toward the end of the line. Just, uh, it's more arcade games than you could ever possibly play. It was, you know, Game on Expo, so it's apropos that they have a ton of games. And I think it was really cool they had a pinball tournament. I'm surprised they didn't have any tournaments for any of the other games. But hey, you know, it is what it is. This booth gave me flashbacks to playing games in my friend's basement with that wood paneling and the posters. Oh, They also had some virtual reality. All this, this section here, these guys are on there playing virtual reality. That's why you see them stabbing in the dark with the headsets on. They can't see what they're doing. Remember I told you the eSports stuff? They were doing a Tetris challenge. Uh, these guys, the winners, would go on to uh, play in a, a bigger tournament. I never thought I would sit and watch other people playing games, but I could not stop watching this Tetris tournament. But not everyone agreed with me. All right, that was Game On Expo in Phoenix, Arizona. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you a quick overview of all the stuff they have there. Lots and lots of gaming, board and video, uh, pinball, arcade stuff we weren't, weren't expecting to see, especially with the tournaments. The head-to-head -head Tetris was kind of cool. Uh, but they had more than that. They had your typical con stuff, you know, with vendor booths that uh, were quasi-related to video gaming, board gaming. Uh, all in all, though, I give it a thumbs up. It was a, a really good time, and I think if you're into any aspect of gaming, you're really going to enjoy it. So if you get a chance, go to Game On Expo in Phoenix, Arizona.